On this Debaco University video, we're going to be looking at when you test cannabis plant material for potency and it results in a number, what are some of the specifics that go along with that? All right, let's look at testing cannabis plants potency resulting in a number. So first off, when we're looking at providing that exact number, uh, to provide a reliable number, the dried cannabis flower material needs to be ground up and mixed together into a homogenized sample. This helps to ensure that all of the individual flower variability is easily averaged in the final tested product. Overall, this results in a consistent sample and allows for an accurate number to be provided. Now, with that homogenized samples, we see just a representative example um, here. However, while this sample is great for consistency in the analysis, this is often not how people want to or are accustomed to consuming their cannabis. They may want to have that original solid dry flower. They don't want to deal with some sort of diced up small uh, subsample. They want the actual original, basically dry flower. But there can be flower to flower inconsistencies that do not allow for a consistent number to be given. It technically should be uh, an expected range. And I have another video on this if you want to search the channel uh, to look for that. But you're looking at providing that consistent single number. In order to provide accurate results, you need a homogenized sample to provide a number for the potency of that exact sample. Now that blended flower, uh, the results in a number on a homogenized product that most people do not want to purchase. We can see here, also uh, in encapsulated form here. This can be great for other cannabis end products that number, particularly concentrates, uh, and also like pre-rolls, but this is not for a single dry flower, which typically brings the highest price. So if you're getting a consistent, you know, purchasing an exact flower with an exact number, realize that the really expected might be a slight range from that number, because as you know, individual flowers will have slight uh, individual variabilities in uniqueness to each flower. So that's why it's hard to have an exact number that correlates, even though we do see it. With dry flower, it really needs to be performed to be an accurate result on a homogenized sample.